Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Lectures Online. We continue treating the Mathematics M3 Test 2 question paper which was written on the 29th of October 2019. This is question 2 which is all about algebraic graphs and differentiation. The first question which is 2.1 says in the sketch below A and D are intercepts on the x-axis of y equals to negative x squared plus x plus 6 while p is the y-intercept and c the turning point of the graph determine the coordinates of a b c and d so we see there's a d b and c these are the x-intercept there's the y-intercept and there's the turning point and we can see this graph it's a parabola from the sketch and also the general equations so let's try to find those points which we are told to determine so we'll start by the x-intercept intercepts where we would know that y equals to zero therefore from the general equation we get zero equals to negative x squared plus x plus six we divide throughout by negative so we end up with x squared minus x minus 6 and we factorize we'll get x minus 3 x plus 2 therefore x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 2 so points of the x-intercepts are going to be 3 and 0 and negative 2 and 0 so if we write that as a will be negative 2 and 0 d will be 3 and 0 then we go to the y intercept where we know that x equals to 0 so from the equation from the equation of our graph we'll get the y intercept as 0 squared plus 0 squared when we substitute x equals to 0 this is what we'll get 6 so the point is 0 and 6 which is point B and we write as 0 6 then point C is the turning point since this is a parabola we get the point of the x coordinate of the turning point by this formula which says negative B over 2A our b is 1 so it's going to be negative 1 over 2 and our a is negative 1 as well so we're going to get 1 over 2 so our point is 1 over 2 f of 1 over 2 this just means we substitute uh, x with this in the equation of the line f of the graph that we're given and if we do that punch it into the, the calculator is going to be negative 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 plus 6 and we get 25 over 4 so our point C is 0 0.5 and 6.25 and when we write them down in order they're going to be a negative 2 0 b 0 6 6 7.5 and d 
necessary in this year and that's it for question 2.1 Question 2.2, which is about differentiation, 2.2.1 says we should derive it. This expression. So it would be much better to write it like in a proper form whereby we can apply the constant rule, the power rule, and also the power rule I mean to say. So it's going to be negative, it's going to be y equals to 2x1 over 2 plus 3x to the power negative 1 plus p6. We're going to derivate dy over dx. So we're going to get 1 over 2 applying the power rule over 2 times 2x 2 minus 1 minus 1 times 3x negative 1 minus 1 plus 0 this is going to be x negative 1 over 2 since this will cancel out minus 3x minus 2 dy over dx or dy over dx equals to if we write this in oh the question says we should leave our answer in positive exponents so to make this a positive exponent it's going to become 1 over x to the power 1 over 2 and we know that to the power 1 over 2 is simply square root so it's going to be square root of x minus if you do the same it's going to be minus 3 over x to the power positive 2 and 2.2.2 y equals to 2x 1 over 3 minus 3 over x plus b then our dy or oh, let's first write it in proper form whereby we can apply the rules of differentiation that we know 2x1 over 3 minus 3x to the power negative 1 plus b all this to the power 0 it's 1 so 1 times b it's going to be b dy over dx is going to be 1 over 3 times 2x over 3 minus 1 minus 1 times minus 3 x minus 1 minus 1 plus 0 since this is a constant mm -hmm. so our dy over dx becomes 2 over 3x 1 over 3 minus 1 is going to be negative 2 over 3 mm -hmm. plus 3 x to the power negative 2 then since we are told to leave our exponents in positive Form. So we're going to say dy over dx equals to 2 over 3x to the power 2 over 3 plus 3 over x to the power 2. It's positive 2, sorry about that. Then we know that this can be written like an, a root form which will be dy over dx plus 2, 2 over 3 root 3x three squared plus 3 over x squared that's question 2.2.2 .2 .2.
then 2.3 you are told to use differentiation to determine the coordinates of the turning points of the following curve and the curve that we're given it's y equals to 2 x cubed plus 6 squared and if you differentiate this dy over dx it's going to be 3 times 2x 3 minus 1 plus 2 times 6 x 2 minus 1 which becomes 6 x squared minus 12 x and we know that uh, at the turning point the gradient is zero so dy dx which is the gradient to a curve is equal to zero which is equal to 6x squared minus 12x and if we try to solve this we are going to say 6x factorize 6x take out 6x from this it's going to be 6x which is which will leave x minus 2 because this times this is 6x squared this times this is negative 12x or equals to 0 therefore x equals to 0 and x equals to 2 if we substitute this values back to the original uh, formula of the curve uh, equation of the curve we are going to get the y coordinate since we only have the x coordinate for the first one 0 if we substitute x equals to 0 we are going to get another 0 for the y coordinates and 2 if we substitute 2 it's going to be 8 times 2 which is um, 16 then it's going to be 4 times 6 which is 24 then 16 plus yeah, it's going to be 16 16 plus 24 it's going to be 30 I think let's punch this into the calculator and see what we get 2 to the power 3 plus 6 2 squared oh it's actually 40 not 30 and that's it oh I made a mistake here when derivating this positive not negative so there's going to be positive then this is going to be positive then this becomes negative 2 negative 2 then when we substitute back into the formula negative 2, negative 2 this becomes 8 so it's going to be 0, 0 and negative 2 8 here yeah. it's negative 2 That's it for question two.